What's up everyone, Jackson Harris here. It is Monday, October 31st, a beautiful night in New York City, and this will be my last vlog of Vlogtober. It feels like it was just yesterday when I had the idea to do Vlogtober and to do 31 days, 31 videos. It's just crazy that it's over. I put myself up to the challenge, and to be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. I thought for sure I was gonna miss a day or mess up or have an excuse of why I couldn't upload or internet wouldn't be good. There's a million reasons why I thought I wasn't going to be able to upload before I even started Vlogtober. I've learned so much making these videos, first and foremost being that it's a lot harder than it looks. I know when you're watching your favorite YouTubers, it seems like it's the best job in the world. And it is, but it's not the easiest. I mean, when you have to film something and edit something every day and upload every day, at first it sounds simple and sounds easy, but then as the days go by, you try to think of interesting things to film and how to be genuine on camera. I give credit where credit's due to anybody making daily videos. It's an absolutely insane schedule and you need a crazy amount of passion and work ethic. So my hat's off to whoever daily vlogs. Another thing I learned by making these videos was that I used the camera as an excuse to do some really cool stuff. Which in retrospect, I shouldn't have needed a camera to do those things, but I'm glad I had one because it pushed me out of my comfort zone. And that's one thing I wanted from these daily videos. I wanted to push myself and challenge myself to do something different, to make a video every single day. And even though this is the end of Vlogtober, this isn't the end of vlogs. I also learned you gotta be willing to put yourself out there, whether it's walking down the street with a camera in your hand or sitting down on this couch and opening up to you about my OCD. That's something I never really thought I was going to do in these videos, but I'm glad I did because it opened up a conversation. It's incredible the power these videos have. When I started this Vlogtober challenge, I was hoping I was gonna gain a lot of views and a lot of new subscribers, but in the end I realized that's really not what's important. I was making connections through these videos that I hadn't before. Even if it was just a few people in the comments, I was starting to get a sense of that community that everyone talks about. And it was amazing. Those were the things that were important, not just the numbers on the computer screen. But that's what a vlog should be about. If your goal is just to get the numbers, then get out of here. So after 31 videos in 31 days, 155 minutes, roughly 2.5 hours of content, it's about being your most honest self in front of a camera. As weird as that may be, I almost feel more like me when I hit record. Because hitting that little red button makes me have to be in the moment, or at least create one. It feels awesome to have shared so many cool experiences on these videos. I moved into a new apartment, one of my best friends got engaged, my new EP Free Son or Frisian came out. So I don't really know what to say. I wanted to thank you for watching and I hope you were able to get something out of these videos. If you haven't watched all 31 videos, I'm gonna make a playlist so you can start with day one and go to day 31 so you can kind of experience the whole month with me. If you want me to do a whole nother month of daily vlogging, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna be working on some new music, cover videos, and music videos all throughout November. So now, even though I won't be daily vlogging anymore, I'm gonna try to make at least two vlogs a week. I'm not sure what days yet or what my schedule will be, but I'm gonna take this next week off to figure all that stuff out. And I'll come back with a schedule and a timeline of what's coming up as far as new music videos, new music, new tour dates, and all that good stuff. My good buddy Shay Carl always said, if life is worth living, then it's worth recording. And after 31 days of daily vlogging, he's right. So for the 31st time in 31 days, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you.